Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at the mean value theorem and kind of an example of it applying to velocity. So here's the scenario. Suppose that a person is driving a car on a tollway. The person goes through an automatic tolling location at a speed of 50 miles per hour. Four minutes later down the road, still traveling at 50 miles per hour, they go through a second automatic tolling location. The speed limit on this particular stretch of the tollway is 60 miles per hour, and the distance between the first and second tolling locations is 5 miles. A few days later, this person receives a speeding ticket in the mail for driving 75 miles per hour between the tolls. How did they know or how can it be proven that the driver was speeding just based on their speed between the two toll? Well, here is an example of the mean value theorem coming into play. Now let's think about what the mean value theorem says and when we're allowed to use it. So two things have to be true in order to apply the mean value theorem. One is that our function must be continuous on some interval closed from A to B. The second is that it must be differentiable on an open interval. Well, in this particular case, our function that we're thinking about is velocity, okay? Velocity is continuous everywhere because when we think about driving our car, we can't suddenly transport from going, let's say, 50 miles per hour to instantaneously, now I'm going 70 miles per hour. The only way to do that is to speed up from 50 miles per hour up to 70 miles per hour. So we know that velocity is continuous on the interval. Similarly, f must be differentiable. Well, with velocity of a vehicle having to be nice and smooth and continuous, you can only speed up, slow down. Even if you slam on your brakes, it takes you a little bit to stop. So it is also differentiable on the interval. Okay, so now that we know the mean value theorem applies, what does the mean value theorem tell us? Well, mean value theorem in general says that there is some value on the interval where the instantaneous velocity or derivative, okay, so this is going to be velocity instantaneous, is equal to the average velocity or the slope of the secant line. Okay, well, you can think of your instantaneous velocity as your speed at any given moment, and we can calculate the average velocity based on the information we have from the tolling booths. Okay, so let's think about uh, some, let's remind ourselves about the relationship between distance, velocity, and time. We have the relationship that distance is equal to rate of travel or velocity times time. Now this equation up here is in terms of velocity. So if I were to solve that for r, the rate of travel or velocity would be distance over time. Now in this particular case, we know that the distance between the two polling locations is five miles. So five miles. And our time that it took us to go from one tolling location to the other was four minutes. Now we want to think about when we talk about velocity, we're often talking about miles per hour. So I want to take four minutes and divide by 60 seconds or 60 minutes in an hour rather to get hours. So, so that my speed will be in miles per hour, five divided by four over 60 gives me 75 miles per hour. So based upon going 50 miles per hour through two tolling locations that are five miles apart in a span of four minutes, the average velocity was 75 miles per hour. 
And since velocity is continuous and differentiable, there must be at least one place where the instantaneous velocity or the speed at any given moment between toll booth A and toll booth B was equal to the average velocity of 75 miles per hour. Therefore, it can be proven that this person was indeed going 75 miles per hour at least one time between the toll booths, thus the speeding ticket. Moral of the story, guys, is be careful about your speed on tollways and remember that this calculus that we're learning does have applications in the real world. All right, that does it for this video. Until next time, we'll catch you later.